What up dudes, Rostophilus here. My apologies that I didn't get this out earlier, but you know me, I like to test things 100% to know that when I'm telling you something, it's not opinionated and absolute fact based on testing basically. And when I do my test, I basically go in and wreck as hard as I can to see how long I can survive over another build basically to see what things will keep me uh, out of situations and what things put me in situations that I can't get out of. I test the whole nine yards to make sure that this is gonna be the absolute best survival gear slash wreck and shop gear but before we get started i just want to let you know that i don't have all the gear from my hunter that i need i have it on my other guardians where i've tested it to know what it does but i don't have it all on my hunter just yet so as we're going through it though i may have something on it might not be what you need but i will put subtitles and explain what you need as we go so make sure you know that let's get started as you've seen in all my past videos, your weapon or your gear or your subclass does not matter as long as the perks match and the stats match, that's all that matters. Use whatever subclass, whatever weapon you want, just match the stats and the perks and you're good to go. Alright, let's start it off with the helmet. So one mobility and three recovery. You need a recovery mod on your helmet along with heavy lifting enhanced heavy lifting actually so if you have heavy lifting that's already a beast perk to have to charge your super and heavy lifting charges your super faster than any other supercharge in the game basically so if you have enhanced heavy lifting it's way better this is where you want to tailor it to whatever you use i use rockets so if you use a fusion a shoddy whatever put your reserves how you want it this is just what i have but make sure you have enhanced heavy lifting all right moving to the arms we have a two mobility one recovery arm and we have a grenade charge mod taking you from a minute 20 down to one minute along with impact induction and special ammo finder. So impact induction along with the grenade charge mod. The grenade charge mod will take you to a minute grenade cooldown from a minute 20. And then with impact induction, if you melee around five people, you can get up to 22 seconds less in your grenade charge time. So that's 38 seconds a grenade just by having that. And then with special ammo finder, it's always good to have special ammo because I believe that having special ammo is key in beasting and PvE because that's your most used weapon most of the time. So, those are your arms. Make sure you get those, dudes. Now, let's move on to the chest piece. This is where you kind of tailor it to how you play. This is just what I'm using, but this is completely up to you on this part. But make sure you have a two mobility, two recovery with a recovery mod okay this is going to be for your chest piece now if you don't have this you might need to put a mobility mod on to get you to two mobility or you might need to put a recovery mod on just depends on if you're using like the opaith chest piece or something else basically that's kind of uh, where you need to focus your mod on to make sure you don't drop below a seven on either mobility or recovery so with that i have unflinching energy aim and then a special ammo finder so that's basically up to you just make sure those stats are where they need to be now moving on to the legs the perks on my legs are not correct. You actually need a bomber, enhanced bomber, not just bomber, but enhanced bomber because every time you dodge, that basically reduces your cooldown of your grenade even further by 10 more seconds. So that's 22 second grenades when you mix impact induction, the grenade charge mod, and enhanced bomber. So make sure you have enhanced bomber, three mobility, one recovery, and put a paragon mod on. Make sure you have a paragon mod to give you five more second cooldown on your dodge. That's going to bring you to 917 instead of 918 basically. So make sure that you have that. And along with that, you're going to do a special ammo finder to give you more special ammo because, like I said, it's a key thing to have special ammo in PvE when you're doing hard activities, shoddies, fusions, snipers, whatever you're using. It's just key to make sure you have special ammo all the time over any other gun. And finally, moving on to the cloak. You need a recovery mod on it, recuperation, and heavy ammo finder. If you haven't seen my better already versus recuperation video, check that out. Recuperation basically puts your health automatically up instead of it building up and recharging, starting the recharge process. It automatically zaps it to the top basically without you having to wait on recovery time. So with all that being said, dude, that puts you at a 917. And this is a key thing to have in PvE, especially when you're doing hard missions like the Wish Ender and stuff like that where you need those stats to be where they are. I was actually so happy that I had high mobility and stuff in the build that I was using even, to, even without the current mods because I could jump over those knights easily by being way high in the air. My strafing was on point, my recovery was on point. I was able to basically just survive pretty good 
just by having all this stuff on without even having the enhanced bomber and all the stats that I wish I do have. So basically, this build will set you up 100% correct, dude. Like, you will not have any problems out of this build whatsoever, no matter what subclass you use, weapon you use, no matter what. And like I said, with the armor thing, you can do um, pretty much whatever armor you want. Sometimes you might new, do an arm piece with three mobility, but your leg might have more recovery. So just match it how you need to to get your stats to where they don't drop below a seven. I really like to have at least a seven recovery because as soon as I hit red zone on health, it starts building back way fast. When you get to six and lower, it, there's too much pause time to, to wait and the recovery meter takes so long to get back up. But when you hit seven and higher, that's when you really notice that life or death situation survival. Survival, so I highly recommend that and I don't ever like to drop below an 8 mobility because if you see my power of mobility video you understand when dodging and strafing ogres and knights and wizards and things like that it's just a really key thing to have in PvE versus like PvP and things like that but anyways man I hope you all enjoyed that grind out this build I 100% guarantee you you won't change to anything else if you're on patrol and things like that, you know, I might screw around with like reload perks on gauntlets and things like that, but I mean, when I'm doing like hard shit, <laughs> I'm definitely putting this build on, uh, especially when I put it all together how it needs to be. It's going to be a freaking beast. So anyways, man, I am Rostophilus. Hope you all enjoyed that. Grind it out. If you do get the build, let me know in the comments because I would love to hear your feedback on it. Later, dudes.